Bury this in your garden and watch your soil explode with life. Imagine walking out to your garden one morning and discovering that the dull, compacted, unresponsive soil you've been fighting with for years has suddenly turned dark, crumbly, and bursting with life. This transformation isn't fantasy. It can happen faster than you think. Today on Soil and Crop Central, you're about to learn the simple underground ritual that brings dead soil back to life so dramatically, it feels like watching the earth breathe again. Most gardeners don't realize that their biggest obstacle isn't the type of plant they choose, the amount of sunlight they have, or even how often they water. The real sabotaging force is often something they never see. Soil that has quietly become starved, compacted, and biologically empty. Every time dried out beds get tilled, every time chemical fertilizers are dumped on top, every time organic matter is removed instead of returned, the soil becomes weaker. Traditional fertilizers may make plants look good for a moment, but they offer no lasting rebuild. They don't restore structure, they don't feed microbes, and they don't help soil hold water. The result is a slow collapse of vitality, although most gardeners don't notice until plants begin to struggle, leaves yellow and roots stay stunted rather than expanding. The turnaround began when I started bearing a mixture so simple and so natural that it felt almost too good to be true. But the results were undeniable. The secret lies in bearing organic matter that breaks down in a controlled way, feeding microbial communities deep below the surface. What I buried was a blend of crushed kitchen scraps, aged leaf mold, and unfinished compost. Mixed at a ratio of 3 cups of scraps to 6 cups of leaf mold and 4 cups of compost. I dug a trench about 8 inches deep, filled it with this mixture, added 1 cup of wood ash for mineral balance, and covered it back up with soil. Then I watered the area with exactly 2 liters of clean water to activate the biological process. Within days the soil temperature rose, subtly signaling microbial ignition. Within weeks earthworms moved in as if invited by a dinner bell. Within a season, the entire bed transformed. This burial technique works because soil life thrives on decomposition happening beneath the surface, not on top of it. When organic matter is buried, it decomposes slowly in a moisture-rich, oxygen-modulated environment. That slow breakdown feeds a rising population of bacteria, fungi, and beneficial organisms that begin rebuilding soil structure from the inside out. These organisms bind soil particles into aggregates, creating pockets for air and water. Nutrients are released gradually, exactly the way nature intended, making plants stronger and more resilient. It's a complete overhaul of the soil ecosystem, powered by biology rather than brute force fertilization. The visual changes were stunning. Before burying the mixture, the soil looked pale and crusted. Water beaded on the surface instead of sinking in. After the transformation, the soil turned the deep brown color gardeners dream of. It held moisture like a sponge, yet never felt soggy. When plants returned to this bed, growth was noticeably different. Stems thickened faster, leaf color deepened, and roots spread with ease. Even more striking were the microscopic differences. Samples taken before were nearly empty, showing only a few scattered microbial traces. Afterward, the microscope revealed a bustling city of bacteria, fungal hyphae stretching like threads, and tiny organisms moving through the soil like living engineers. The advantages of this burial method extend across the entire garden ecosystem. Soil improved this way begins to hold more water naturally, meaning fewer irrigation cycles are needed even in hot weather. Plants grown in biologically rich soil become more resistant to pests, not because they are protected by chemicals, but because their cellular structure and natural defenses strengthen. As soil life increases, nutrient cycling becomes more efficient. Plants take up what they need when they need it. Without the oversaturation or nutrient burn caused by synthetic fertilizers. And the best part is that this method scales with ease. 
Whether you're working with raised beds, large plots, or small backyard corners, digging trenches and feeding the soil from within quickly becomes a seamless routine. Large beds benefit even more, since microbial networks spread underground like a living web. To revive your soil using this method, all you need is the simple mixture and a willingness to let nature work its magic. Bury the material at least 8 inches deep, water with the full 2 liters to activate it, and give the microbes time to establish themselves. Within a few weeks, you'll begin to notice subtle shifts. Within a full season, you'll feel as if you're gardening in an entirely new environment. The transformation is real, and once it happens, your soil will stay alive as long as you continue feeding it organic matter every few months. This is how gardeners build long-term soil health instead of chasing short-term fixes. So, if your soil has been dry, lifeless, or unproductive, this is your moment to change everything. The simple ritual of burying organic matter done correctly and consistently, turns struggling garden beds into vibrant biological powerhouses. It restores the natural cycles that make plants thrive and helps your garden become more resilient with every passing season. If you're ready to breathe life back into your soil, start today. And when your garden transforms, come back and share your results with the Soil and Crop Central community. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video, and help more growers discover how to bring their soil back from the dead and unleash the life beneath their feet.